are you staring at me? I can't help it. You're so cute. I remember when you were three years old and you sat in your little car seat and you'd play with your little toy steering wheel and you'd go beep, 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 beep. Mom. Come on, do it for me. Just one more time. Beep, beep, come on. Beep, beep, come on. Beep, beep. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now, for your test, remember, Hands on the wheel at 10 and 2. Feet on the pedals, 7 and 4. <laughs> Just a little driver's humor there. It's good stuff, Mom. Thanks. Seriously, my test is in an hour. I just want to get a little practice. Okay. Crosswalk! Barbara Jean, are you nuts? Yes. <laughs> That's the point. Kira has got to be prepared for anything. It is crazy out there on the road. Not very sane here in the driveway, either. Okay, Kira, let's take it for a spin around the block. Oh, no, no, not yet. Let's talk safety first. Now, before pulling out, always check your rear. <laughs> check your rear. Hey, are you guys back from your practice drive already? We haven't left yet. By the time we actually get to my test, I'm going to be too old to drive. Kira, I'm just trying to prepare you for real driving conditions. Get off the road, you idiot! <laughs> Learn how to drive, moron! Seriously, I hear that all the time. <laughs> hey, do you have a flashlight or a stun gun I could hit her with? No hitting in the car. Yeah, no hitting in the car. Stop hitting my seat. Ooh, ooh how do you like me now? All right, all right, that's you it. Know. Everybody out. Thank you. Kira doesn't need to practice. Everybody knows. You take a driving test in a cool car, you pass. <laughs> Thanks, man, for letting me use your car. I know you two have a special relationship. Well, not so much anymore. Cars are a lot like women. See, after a year or so, they... <laughs> Let's go take that test. Okay, I'm set. Hit it! Pirates are planted in the past Though my life is changing fast Who I am is who I want to be A single mom who works too hard Who loves her kids and never stops with gentle hands and the heart of a fighter I'm a survivor Look at me! I'm Kira! I'm so cool! Oh! Look at that! It's a giant T-Rex in the road! Watch out! <laughs> But here comes Jake on his motorcycle to save his sister. What? He's driving right by. <laughs> oh, that's right. She was always so mean to him. Jake, you wouldn't let your sister get eaten by a dinosaur, would you? Do you know any? <laughs> Go upstairs and play in your room. Okay. Look at me. I'm Mom. I like bossing people around. <laughs> Is Kira back yet? Did she get her license? I don't know. She better hurry up and get it soon. I only have one fingernail left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it just feels so weird, Kira getting her driver's license. It was like yesterday that I was teaching her how to ride a bike. She'd ring that little bell. Bring, bring, bring. Beep, beep. Bring, 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 bring. Beep, beep. Hey, maybe we'll get lucky and she'll flunk. Oh, she's not gonna flunk. I told her how to dress for the test. You know, shirt down to here, skirt up to here. <laughs> I've never even driven a car before I took my test. <laughs> I 
I have a license to drive a car, a motorcycle, and an 18-wheeler. <laughs> And yet, she's always here. <laughs> well? Bad news. Oh. oh, honey, I'm sorry. Your insurance rates are going up. Yeah! <laughs> and listen, don't even worry about the insurance. Yeah, I, I got a pretty strong feeling that the first person who walks in my office tomorrow is gonna need a root canal. <laughs> That's how I got my engagement ring. <laughs> Congratulations, sweetie. What's going on? Kira got her license. Oh, congratulations, Kira. I remember when I got my license. I felt so free. It was like a passport to drive. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just hope your picture turns out good. When I got my license, my face looks like this. Yeah. <laughs> now every time I get pulled over, that's the face I have to make. <laughs> you are so lucky, Kira. The three months between when I got my license and when I got pregnant were like the best, most freest times of my life. <laughs> but I don't miss it. I mean, more than three months would have been way too much. <laughs> okay, well, now that you've got your license, we have a few rules we need to go over with you. Yeah, I don't need rules. Cheyenne drives and she doesn't have a bunch of rules. She's a wife and a mother. She's not gonna do anything crazy. Exactly, between school and home, she's practically a prisoner. <laughs> A bird in a gilded cage. Have fun at school, honey. Yeah. Cage bird. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, first of all, no friends in the car. And you have to tell us where you're going. Mm -hmm. You can drive to school, to the library, and home. What about Mexico? Ring, ring. Beep, beep. <laughs> Look, honey, I know it sounds a little strict, but maybe this will make up for it. Cool, a picture phone. And my picture is your screensaver. <laughs> your picture's my screensaver, too. <laughs> okay, use it only for emergencies, okay? Okay, I've got my emergency phone, and I know the rules, so can I have the keys to go to the library? Oh, yeah. Hey, that's a great idea. I'll drive. <laughs> Brock, let her go. We gotta learn to trust her sometime. Mm -hmm. Here, honey. Have fun. Okay. Buckle up. Lock the door. And, uh, <laughs> check your rear. <laughs> Love you. Love you, too. And keep that phone on you at all times. Trust her? What is wrong with you? Come on, Barbara Jean, let's trailer in my car. <laughs> wow, Mrs. H, that is so cool of you. I wish more parents trusted their children. <laughs> There's a tracking device on her phone. <laughs> what? She's 16 and mobile. I mean, this way, even if she doesn't call, I can go online and find out where she is. That's not the Mrs. H I know. It's a changing world, Van, and I'm changing with it. Oh. By the way, they had a special on it, so I got you one, too. Cool. <laughs> Why do they always turn out that way? I'm trying to see how delicate this GPS tracking thing is. I typed in my phone number and the satellite is showing our neighborhood. Hey, take my phone, run down the block, will you? Oh, you run down the block and I'll meet you there. Gotcha! Yeah. Oh, Reba, thank goodness you're here. It's amazing how two people can feel so differently about the same thing. Kira's late. She was supposed to be home at nine, and it's four minutes after. You know, I tried calling her, but she won't pick up. Oh, my gosh, Barbara Jean, do you know what that means? You know what? She has caller ID. <laughs> it's all right. I trust Kira. How quaint. Reba, take it from somebody whose parents trusted her. Don't trust her. <laughs> I have a great relationship with Kira, and that relationship is based on respect. 
like ours? Right. <laughs> now get out of here. You want me to go? I'll go. But if she's not home in five minutes, I'm calling the police. Don't touch the computer! I tied my phone to a dog. <laughs> Kira's phone number. I need to track her. Ah! Uh, so that's why you were acting so calm, hmm? A tracking device. Genius. <laughs> no, the dog's headed to a river. The phone's not waterproof. <laughs> okay. I just take the coordinates. Uh -huh. I type them into the map. And we find out. Look, here she is. Okay. 428 Hill Street. Hill Street? Hey. Reba, that is downtown. Okay, all right. Let's not panic. Okay. We go into the yellow pages, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. type in the address, and we find that cure is perfectly safe at Corky's Martini Lounge. Oh. <laughs> I don't get it. What's Kira doing in a bar? Well, if she's anything like me, she's she, like... She's not. <laughs> I mean, what I don't understand is how can a 16-year-old girl get into a bar? Oh, Reba, there are a thousand ways. <laughs> I used to crawl in through the men's room window. Barbara Jean. And if you're not sensitive to the cold, you can hide in the beer delivery truck. <laughs> I'm also licensed to drive one of those. Okay. Barbara Jean, right. that's enough. Okay, all right, I know. And I mean for your entire life. Okay, okay. Now let's get down there. Right. Hey, Mom. Oh, hi, Kira. Oh, gosh, Kira. Kira, where have you been? The library? Yeah, right. More like the library. <laughs> Don't call my daughter a liar. Unless, of course, you are lying. And if you are a young lady, you better tell me the truth right now. Okay, you got me. Okay. On the way home, I drove the car into the Grand Canyon. <laughs> Thelma didn't make it. <laughs> Very funny. And why didn't you answer your phone? Because I traded phones. You traded your phone? Kira, I bought that phone for a specific reason. You mean the tracking device? <laughs> <laughs> Tracking device? Uh, yeah. Can you believe her? <laughs> Mom, you're not the first parent to try and pull that one. I just thought you were better than that. I think we all were a little disappointed. <laughs> oh, shut up. You need to get that phone back. And I don't like this person you traded with. I don't really either. It's Cheyenne. <laughs> What is Cheyenne doing in a bar? Cheyenne's not at a bar. She has biology lab on Tuesday night. Reba, take it from someone whose parents trusted her. There is no such thing as a biology lab. <laughs> Man was very polite. Yeah, except you were honey and I was male. Mm. Hey, this is a karaoke bar. Oh my gosh, Reba, let's sing. Oh my gosh, let's not. I don't think Cheyenne would come to a karaoke bar. The GPS thingy was a ripoff. Okay, everybody having a good time tonight? Yeah. yeah. Well, keep enjoying yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, but remember one thing. There's got to be a morning after. <laughs> There's got to be a morning after. We can hold on to the night. <laughs> There's a chance to find sunshine. Keep on looking for the light. You think that used to be a song? No wonder Elizabeth used to cry every time she sang to her. If you keep on looking for the light. Oh, boy. I don't understand it. Why didn't she just tell us she was singing? Would you? If you keep on looking for the light. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. Good night. Oh, no. Oh, no, she's seen us. 
This could be awkward. Quick, start a bar fight. <laughs> Mom, Barbara Jean. Oh, Cheyenne. What are you looking at, Blondie? Huh? <laughs> what are you guys doing here? Oh, we thought it'd be a fun place to meet all our friends, you know, here at the biology lab. Okay, fine. I, I didn't go to the biology lab, but I didn't want anyone to know I was here. Gee, I wonder why. <laughs> yeah. I mean, man, that chick definitely wants a piece of me. Yeah, bring it! Cheyenne. Honey, what's going on? Nothing. I just paid eight bucks to park, four bucks to get in here. Now, I think you owe me about $12 worth of explanation. Okay. Mom, when did you first realize that you were old and your life was over? I hadn't, but thanks for the update. Oh, sorry. But every day, I wake up, and I know exactly what my day is going to be like, and the next one, and the one after that. Some people look at that as security. Yeah. Some people look at that as a rut. I mean, look at all these people around here, OK? They're about my age, and they're not wives and moms. They're just, they're just people. You know, don't get me wrong. I love being a wife and a mom. It's just. I don't know. You probably think I'm so weird. Oh, honey, no, I don't. Everybody feels like that from time to time. Who am I? Why am I here? Why didn't I lock the door when Barbara Jean was walking up the driveway? <laughs> Have you talked to Van about this? No, this is something that I'm sure he wouldn't understand. Van's always known who he is. He's a football player. Cheyenne. Van doesn't play football anymore. He's a guy that wakes up every morning not knowing what his day's gonna be like. He probably feels like he's in a rut, too. We just had to grow up so fast. You know what, you, you're smart for wanting to keep an eye on Kira. Well, I needed a hobby. <laughs> now that I'm old and my life is over. <laughs> <laughs> Cheyenne, you realize that you can't keep coming down here by yourself. Yeah. And I was getting really good. <laughs> hey, are you guys done talking? Yeah. Barbara, are you ready to go? Yeah, after this. Hit it! Working nine to five. What a way to make us living barely. Sweetie, how was school? Oh, it was swell. Yeah, just like yesterday, and hey, good news. Tomorrow, I get to do it all over again. <laughs> I gotta go bathe, Elizabeth. Ah, bathe, red tune, already asleep. Oh, thanks, Mom. You're welcome. Go we'll have fun. <laughs> welcome to DJ Van's Karaoke Palace. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got a live one walking on the stage here. Oh, no, did Mom tell you? Yeah. Are you mad at me? I was at first, but then I got one of these. <laughs> and now I get it. Look, and the reason No, I know I... why you did it, Cheyenne. I just wish you would have told me what you're going through. Mm -hmm. You've been there for me, and I'll always be there for you. You're so sweet. And from now on, we sing together. Really good. Keep on looking for the light. There's got to be a morning after. If 
we hold on to the nut. The WB Friday continues with the comedy hit Living with Fran. Fresh right now. trying to dust the furniture. Well, can you do it later? I'm watching this show about women's rights. <laughs> now, just rub your socks on the table. Well, all right, but this counts as one of my chores. Hey, guys. Hey, Brock. Where's Jake? What do you mean, where's Jake? What I mean is we were married once and had a son. At this time, do you know his location? Wait a second, he's not here? Because I was supposed to pick him up and take him over to Tammy Anderson's house. No, you were supposed to pick him up at Tammy Anderson's house and bring him here. <laughs> hey. Hey. Jake, how'd you get home? Tammy Anderson's dad gave me a ride. And all the way home, he wondered how someone forgets their kid. <laughs> Me, too. Uh, hey, I'm sorry, buddy. You know, your mom asked me to do it. I guess I kind of blew it. That's OK. Hey, Tammy's mom let us paint. Let's have a look. Oh, hey, did Elizabeth do that? <laughs> no, honey, that was, that was Jake. Recently? <laughs> it's a boy waiting alone at a bus stop. Hmm. I call it. Where's Dad? See you later, Dad. Yeah. Brock, you're a good father, but lately you just haven't been spending any time with the boy. I'm sorry, but I've been swamped. You know what? We're trying to get the dental practice back on its feet and juggling two families. Geez. I haven't even had any Brock time. As I recall, it's Brock time that got you two families. <laughs> I'm just worried that it's starting to affect Jake. You know, she's right, Mr. H. You don't want to end up like that song about the boy and his dad with the dog and the cradle and the rubber spoon. You see, before you know it, he's going to be grown, married, with a kid of his own. Won't call as often as you like. And... <laughs> Sorry. I got something in my eye. Great. Now the other one's got it. <laughs> What's up with Van? The same thing happened with him and his dad. They were never close. He doesn't really like to talk about it, but he's getting better now. Diane, I need you! <laughs> Hold on, baby! <laughs> well, take your shoes off. I need to finish the table. <laughs> so sadly so alone so alone just eating her lunch all alone drinking their water thirsty for love all alone so alone oh hey get twenty dollars out of my purse and go to the mall we went to the mall because their mom said okay said okay get out yes she did <sighs> Reba, I did it. I'm going to be spending more time with Jake. I am going to coach him in football. Isn't that great? Are you talking about tackle football? Reba, this is Texas. You're lucky I don't tackle you right now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want him to play tackle football. He could get hurt. He's one of the smallest kids in his class. Reba does have a point. I mean, I was the only girl on my sixth grade football team. <laughs> And I ate boys like Jake for breakfast. <laughs> Which makes it all the more important that he learn not to let his size stop him. Come on, Reba. 
kid living with his mom, turn him into a mama's boy. Jake's not a mama's boy. Hey, Mom, where's the sewing kit? <laughs> it's where you left it. Oh. Hey, tough guys sew too, you know. <laughs> Look, Reba, tons of kids play football and they don't get hurt. You know, it'd do them a world of good to get a little dirty, mix it up some. Ooh, Brock has a point. When I played football, I got hit in the head all the time and it didn't affect me. <laughs> Somebody get the phone! <laughs> you don't even know if Jake wants to play football. Tell you what, why don't we just ask him? Jake, come over here, killer. What's up? Listen, pal. How would you like to have a great time playing football and being coached by none other than your ever-loving dad? Jake, you don't want to play football and get all sweaty and have people slapping you upside the head all day long, do you? <laughs> Jakey, you know, on the one hand, you'd have girls cheering for you, and on the other hand, possible head injury. <laughs> Although, honey, I played as a kid, and I'm fine. <laughs> Yes, that's my boy. All right, we're going to start workouts first thing tomorrow. Cool. I can't wait to decorate my helmet. <laughs> if he wants to decorate his helmet, you let him. <laughs> You're not the boss of me. What'd you say? Jeez, I was agreeing with you. Oh, hey, Reba. Here's a sport Jake's not too small to play. Origami. The ancient Japanese art of folding paper. He folded a towel at our house once. Nobody got hurt. Any chance you could fold your lips? Hey. What happened? Where is he? Oh, you got nothing to worry about, Reba. Oh, thank goodness. So he's okay? He was horrible. <gasps> oh, God love him, he stunk on ice. <laughs> but he's not hurt, right? No, Reba, no. You can't get hurt in the fetal position. <laughs> to be honest, it was a little embarrassing. Oh, please tell me you didn't say that in front of him. Well, of course not. Did you roll your eyes? No, I didn't. Not even when he put the dandelion in his helmet. <laughs> but honey, you, you can still put him on the team, can't you? It's not up to me, Barbara Jean. The Parks Commission makes the cuts, and Jake is gonna be the first to go, the poor little guy. Oh, well, where is he? Of him, he was chasing a butterfly. <laughs> Or it was chasing him. I couldn't look. <laughs> oh, Jake, baby. I don't know. <laughs> you need anything? Uh, a chocolate milk, a cookie, something? You want to come over to our place and fold some towels? <laughs> no, thanks. Hey, Dad, I had a great time today. Yeah, me too, buddy. And the best part is, we get to spend every Saturday together for the rest of the season. Sure we will, Jake. Sure we will. I'll see you at home, Barbara. G so, Jake, you really had a good time today, huh? Yeah. Really? I mean, you could just spend Saturdays with me. Don't be jealous, Mom. A boy has to spend time with his father, too. It doesn't mean I love you any less. This is horrible, Barbara Jean. I know. Because of me, that little old boy's heart's gonna be broken. I can't believe I'm gonna say this, but somehow or another, we gotta get that boy on the football team. Okay, Reba. I'll coach him. Not you, Barbara Jean. Somebody knows what they're doing. He's not trying out for mascot. <laughs> I'm just saying, I think I feel so much better now that my dad and I have talked. 
Honey, driving by his house and honking your horn is not talking. He knows my honk. Man, I need you to coach Jake. I thought you didn't want to play him football. I didn't, but he feels it's very important to spend a lot of time with his dad. So you want me to teach him that the only way to win his father's love is by playing some silly game? Because <laughs> let me tell you something, Mrs. Age. You can run around all you want, and it's not going <laughs> to... I won't do it. Someone's gonna break the cycle. I think he's doing way better with this. Diane, I need you. Right behind you, baby. So, I bet someone who doesn't know what she's doing is looking pretty attractive right now. Oh, go answer the phone. Oh, I knew it. Ready or not, here comes Daddy. Where's Elizabeth? Where's Elizabeth? <laughs> Elizabeth! Honey! Honey, where are you? Oh, there you are. Come here. Oh, you scared Daddy. Don't do that. I should only count to ten next time. <laughs> Van, is everything okay? You were yelling. It, it, it was fine. Uh, Elizabeth just got scared, but Daddy made everything okay. <laughs> Why don't you go inside now? Yes, you think yeah. he's a freak now. Wait till you start dating. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> dating? <laughs> yeah, she's gonna grow up and start dating. <laughs> You want to get off the practice field, please. What are you guys doing? Wait, you're going to train Jake? Hey, somebody has to. She might not be the most qualified, but at least she doesn't burst into tears every two minutes. <laughs> and I happen to be extremely qualified. After high school, I coached football professionally for a year at Gatesville Women's Prison. <clears throat> We would have won the Texas State Prison Tournament, except my quarterback was shot trying to escape. <laughs> Barbara Jean, if you're gonna make things up, why don't you make things up that make you sound good? Why do I even have to do this? After I make the team, I'll just practice with Dad and the other kids. You bet. We're just making extra sure that that happens. What do you mean? Everybody that tries out gets on the team, don't they? Well, um, <clears throat> not exactly, no. But don't you worry, Jakey. If I can turn little Arson Annie into a top-notch running back, <laughs> I can help you. But I thought everybody made the team. I'm not as good as those other kids. That's okay. That's why we're out here with <sighs> Coach Cuckoo. <laughs> this is bad. I'm the worst guy out there. And two of those guys are girls. Okay. <laughs> First off, let's lose the sexism. Come on, look. Even if by some chance you don't make the team, it doesn't really matter. Hey, there's a lot of other things that you're really good at. But Dad doesn't care about those things. Oh, yes, he does. No, he doesn't. Not like he cares about football. And I can't play football. And when I don't make the team, he's gonna wish he had another son. Oh, Jake, honey, he does have another son. <laughs> I know how the kid feels. Oh, knock it off. You don't know anything. Oh, yes, I do. I never had a relationship with my father, either. You're unbelievable. You know that? You're so busy with your little pity party that you can't keep the same thing from happening to him. This is a sensitive issue for me. <laughs> okay, look, Ben, I'm sorry what happened between you and your dad, but that was a long time ago. My little boy is hurting now. What do you want me to do about it? Help him! Help him make the team. Well, my dad never helped me. He never helped me make the team. Never came to the tryouts. You can't impress somebody who isn't there.
Be strong, man. Be strong. <laughs> All right, dang it, I'll do it. But no halfway. That boy is mine. Thank you, Van. He's gonna need a new pair of shoes, lots of water, and a pan of fudge brownies. Brownies? No questions. I've got to turn a boy into a man, and I get hungry. <laughs> All right, this time, run a skinny post. On two. Hut, hut! There you go. Good, Jake. Good, Jake. It's your birthday. It's your birthday. Raise the roof. Michael Jackson. All right. Way to go, bud. That's like 10 in a row you caught. I thought it was 11. Well, I don't count the last one because of the way you danced. Never do that again. <laughs> All right, so we've gone over passing A plus, receiving A plus. Now the only thing left is the fun part, hitting. <laughs> what about kicking? <laughs> kicking. <laughs> Kickers are little wimps who are afraid to get hit, Jake. I think I want to be a kicker. <laughs> no, you don't. Didn't you hear me? Hitting is the fun part. Not when you're the one getting hit. Wait a minute, is, it, is this why you did so bad the other day? You're afraid of getting hit? Yeah. I also don't want to be lit on fire. I'm weird. <laughs> I bet you think I'm a big baby. No, 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 listen. When I was playing, I was afraid of getting hit, too. No, you weren't. Oh, yes, I was. Everybody's afraid of getting hit, but you can use that to your advantage. So you need to hit them first, so they get scared first. Now, we're going to do a play right now, but we're going to do it in slow motion. I want you to try to hit me before I hit you, okay? On go. Ready, set, go. Hey! You said slow motion. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, I messed up. Let's try that again. Okay, here we go. Ready, set, go. Hey, no fair. Oh, I'm sorry. One more time. Ready, set, go. That's right, Jake. Whoa. I like that feeling. <laughs> Still want to be a kicker? I want to hit a kicker. Lesson over. Yeah. All right. All right. Put it out. No. Get off me. No. Jake. Yeah, you better walk away. That's right. Oh, yeah. It's that little boy's leg. Crack. Oh my, it's that little boy's arm. Kira, knock it off. You know what? You think you're so funny and you are so not. Yeah, well you think you're so pretty and you so are. Well shut up, Kira. Hey. So honey, what happened? Was he hurt? Tell me he's not hurt. He's hurt, he's hurt, he slammed in the dirt. I will sell that guitar. <laughs> He's fine. He'll be right in. Did he do it? Did he make the cut? Yes, he did. <laughs> and then yeah. he got banned. What? Banned? Oh, good Lord, no. Steroids? He should have been there. He was an animal. He was in on every play, running, jumping, putting the smack down on guys. My son is a monster. Okay, wait, wait a minute. I don't understand. If he was so great, why was he banned? Yeah, isn't that how you're supposed to play? Run around like a crazed lunatic? Great sport, by the way. <laughs> yeah, well, they don't want him playing like that at his age, so some of the parents got together with the committee and they banned him for one year. <laughs> they called him an assassin. <laughs> Jake, can you believe it? So you just let them ban him? Oh, no. No, no, no. I said, okay. If he can't play, then I'm not going to coach. And what did they say to that? They said that's what they were thinking, too. <laughs> so they banned me. I can't coach for a year. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I give you the assassinator. <laughs> Stay very still, folks. He's trained to hit anything that moves. He's 75 pounds of ornery whoop-ass. <laughs> Cheerleader! <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks for the help, man. Hey, no problem, buddy. Help me too. It gave me a chance to work through some of my failings. I can't believe I spent all those years mad at my dad because. <laughs> oh boy. I'm gonna go call my dad. You know, all of this has really helped him. I think he's had a real breakthrough. I'm just glad I could have been there for him. Diane, I cast a machine. <laughs> Okay, this is getting old. <laughs> well, Jake, I think this might be the first time you ever got in trouble with anybody. I'm really proud of you. Come on, Mr. Assassinator. I'm gonna take you in the kitchen and buy you a soda. I'll get it. Oh, thank goodness you hear it too. <laughs>